I've often asked myself what I would do if the technology became available to manipulate my environment via my thoughts or some kind of implanted technology. And I wondered whether or not I would actually go under the knife for such a procedure. We see everywhere transhumanism becoming more and more of a reality. Uh, women's butt plants exploding in the 90s. It was their breast implants. Um, how everybody is basically trying to become the most perfect version of themselves, how they see themselves fit. And I don't know if I would have these implanted into my hand unless they served a super purpose, but I'm not so sure I would want to know why someone would have essentially an LED ring sewn into their hand. It's just not something I would want. I mean, even if Flash, like, you know, We the People, or, you know, had some kind of under the skin, uh, you know, setting where you could change what the light said, or, you know, what it flashed on a daily basis or something. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It would depend on everything else. But I found this one here, and I thought these, basically, these body hackers is what they're being called now. These trans people who are basically getting to a point where they're where they're accepting the point of being chipped for a lifetime. You know, our generation's worried about the RFID implants, where these guys are sitting there getting body mods. I saw one, I think I even reported one, of a guy who has um, some chip implant in his um, arm, where it reads all his vitals and everything, and his doctor um, gets the information via a uh, mobile phone, I guess, to monitor some disease or something or something he signed up for. But the guy basically made the technology himself. And they're, him and the doctor are actually um, beta testing the tech. But I'm looking at this, and I'm really wondering... You know, at what point do you really think that this needs to be? And it isn't just humans, folks. And this is bad. And I wish I had a picture of this or I wish I would have shown the video. But there was a farm that I saw a video of. And this is this was so sick, I, it made me stop uh, watching the video. Somebody modified a living, breathing, walking cow, folks. They took the side of the cow by the rib cage, cut out two ribs, implanted this plastic thing with a screw off top. And you could actually watch the milk being digested in the cow. And I was like, and there's no cops around to arrest these guys or put them in prison. They basically just butchered an animal for the sake of science or technology. I was like, where's the squads of people putting those types of people down? You know, that, that animal had no right in doing that. And I guarantee you it wasn't done, uh, you know, with sedative therapy. They probably just localized it, paralyzed it, and then, you know, cut in and then sewed it up. And after the bleeding and everything stopped, oh, well. So I guarantee you that animal was not happy. And you could tell in the eyes of the animal he didn't like it. Obviously, and that just that that just made me pissed off. Oh man, was I was I just furious when I saw that. So this is actually becoming a a new thing. They're calling it body hacking movement, but really what it is is it's the technological transformation to accept the beast and all its works. And I wondered if I would ever go for something like this, and I haven't gotten even even a tattoo in my lifetime, just because with my medical problems, I'm afraid one of two things is going to happen. One, there's going to be a major infection, and I'm almost not going to have the medical to cover it. Or two, I'm going to end up having to have a surgery in the body part, and the tattoo is going to be ruined. 
because of some butcher who doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So this is really just getting out of control is what it is. If you think that photo wasn't screwed up enough, here's Neil Harbison, who identifies himself as a cybernetic organism because he had something implanted in his head that basically allows him to work photocopiers and various other things at his work. And that source was by CNN. So, you know, this chipping procedure seems to be more and more common, and this is, I guess, the future. I mean, we all know of the DSX series, where it showed this becoming a reality where they could control drones and various things throughout their life. And now it's becoming a near possibility to have these types of things where you actually can do this. And those people basically had a chip put in their hands with uh, lights, with uh, LED lights implanted in their hand to glow red. Um, so this is actually becoming a thing. And I'm not so sure I like this. Um, for any number of reasons, of course. Let me see if I can show you a picture of that cow. It's going to be disturbing. But I'm not going to show you the video because that's just wrong. I mean, people that do that, I mean, they're, they're, there's no way that was done humanely. You could tell in the animal's eyes, he was like, kill me. So, I'm looking for it right now. Right now, all I'm finding is uh, pictures and this and that, so... So I don't think it's actually um, in the regular internet yet. So I mean, it, it was it was a disturbing video. I mean, this guy basically taking this cow, cutting a part of it, inserting this plastic jar piece. I mean, they they didn't show the video of them doing it, but I mean, it was just no. It was not something I would have walked. I would have watched, I would have called local police, and I would have been like, get down here, arrest this man now. Or this will not be tolerated. You're not going to? Okay. Click. So, this is the future, folks. This is the beast at work. This is just LED lights. I mean, these guys can't control things. Um... There's no purpose to this. I mean, just wow.